Flying from Heathrow's Terminal 5 have endured a second day of serious disruption and face further chaos this weekend. More than 70 flights were cancelled today. Another 50 planes won't fly tomorrow. British Airways Chief Executive Willie Walsh has said it was not the airline's finest hour and he admitted that the reputations of both BA and Britain had been damaged. Our transport correspondent Tom Simons joins us tonight from Heathrow. Tom. Yes, Sean. after yesterday's madness, today was a little saner. Lessons were being learnt, reputations were being restored. And in the search for answers as to what went wrong, well, a picture started to emerge not so much of equipment failures, though that played a part, but of poor staff training. Day two in Terminal 5's short, troubled operational history. This morning, more a hotel for the stranded than an airport. Soon, passengers with cancelled flights were queuing again. This family had arrived from Shanghai's new terminal. It's no problem at all, but coming here to London, it started to get difficult. We've been sitting waiting for two hours and the bags are not arriving, and I've just been told that they're going to have to send the bags on to our address in Kingston. But things were much better today and the British Airways boss was finally talking and apologising. It definitely was not our finest hour. You know, we disappointed a lot of people. We've clearly learned some lessons from uh, some of the issues that went wrong early on yesterday morning. Uh, we did get off to a better start today and we've just got to keep focused on this. And British Airways, not the airport operator BAA, was largely to blame for yesterday's disaster. We've narrowed the cause down to three crucial teams of baggage handlers. One takes the bags from luggage chutes and loads them into containers. For team two, baggage logistics to take to the aircraft. Where team three, the baggage loaders, put them on. Each team has to be in the right place at the right time for the chain to work. But yesterday they weren't. So out on the apron, the baggage teams weren't loading the planes quickly enough. The luggage began backing up, overwhelming Terminal 5's massive underground conveyor belt system, capable of handling 12,000 bags an hour. In the departures hall, the bag drop desks couldn't accept any more bags. So why were the baggage teams under so much pressure? Well, some were late for work. They couldn't find spaces in the airport car park. Others got caught in a bottleneck at this security checkpoint. But more than anything else, they were confused by the new terminal. Of course, all this was supposed to have been practiced. There were trials, but we now know they only involved a few hundred staff at a time, rather than the thousands that work here. And staff say that the training to work in this, for them, strange new environment simply wasn't good enough. I don't think they were familiarised with the actual layout of Terminal 5 here, and that caused a real problem for them. They didn't know where to go, what bags to get, and that caused a problem as well as the system breaking down. Why has your operation gone down? After slamming doors in reporters' faces, BA is now fighting to improve its reputation. And we discovered tonight to clear this backlog of 5,000 bags belonging to transit passengers, now stacking up near Terminal 3. This isn't over yet. I've just spoken to British Airways about that bag mountain and they say it has been reduced somewhat but from 5,000 bags to 2,000 bags. The airline stresses that all those bags are out of the way of the elements undercover. They also say tomorrow they will run 293 out of the 347 flights that should normally arrive and depart. Now all those cancellations are short-haul cancellations so long-haul flights aren't affected. And for the list of cancellations, the best place to look, Sean, is the BA website. Tom, thanks for that. Tom Simons there at Heath.